Yeah. No, no, I can't hear you. No, could you turn down the the TV in the background? Okay, that's better. Yeah, I think I forgot to turn off the stove. Could you just check? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. What do you want me to pick up? Yeah. Okay. I can. Yeah. I'll pick up some milk on the way home. Okay. All right. Yeah. I love you too. Bye. <sighs> Sorry. Just personal conversation. Hey everyone. I'm Alex. Thanks for clicking and welcome to this lesson on 10 phrasal verbs that you can use around your house. So if you live with someone or you have a home, an apartment, uh, these are some very common phrasal verbs that you can use to talk about domestic activities. All right. And you're going to have around 40 examples in this lesson. So not only will you, you know, hear turn on, turn off, you'll hear all the possible options around your house that relate to these phrasal verbs and that you can use with these phrasal verbs. Speaking of turn on, turn off, activate, deactivate. You can turn on or turn off the light, turn on or turn off the AC, which is the air conditioning. Okay. Uh, turn on the fan, turn off the fan, the thing that makes air in your house. Some of them go like this. You know what I mean? Turn on the stove or turn off the stove where you cook. Okay. Hey, could you turn off the stove? I think the soup is ready. Turn on the heater or the heating. Uh, you might have a portable heater, right? That you just turn on and it makes heat. It makes it warm in your room. Or you might have central heating in your house where you adjust the thermostat, right? So you can turn on or turn off the heating. Turn on the TV. Turn off the computer. Turn on the dishwasher. So you put your dishes in the dishwasher, turn it on. I do that because mine has three buttons. So one, two, three, and then four to start. That's, that's mine. But anyway, uh, turn on the laundry or turn off the laundry. You can say the laundry machine as well. And after, you know, you put your clothes in the laundry machine, also called a washer, you can turn on the dryer. Hey, I put the clothes in the dryer. Can you just turn it on? I forgot for some reason. Okay. So turn on the dryer next. So turn on, turn off means activate, deactivate, turn up, turn down, turn up, increase, turn down, decrease. So you are talking about the intensity of something, an appliance in your house. So you can turn up the volume. Uh, now you can turn up the volume on the radio or the TV. Uh, you heard me having a conversation and I said, Hey, can you turn down the TV? So, um, when you say turn down the TV or the radio, this specifically means the volume on the TV or this way. Yeah. Or maybe you're doing it this way now with a mouse, um, or maybe you're tapping it or I don't know what you're doing now, or you can turn down the radio, the volume on the radio. Um, you can turn up the AC say it's still hot. Can you turn up, turn up the AC, increase the air conditioning and turn up the heater, the heating. You can also just say the heat. Can you turn down the heat? It's too hot in here, right? Okay. So remember turn up means to increase, turn down means to decrease. Next we have pick up. Uh, pickup is very useful because it has a couple of different contexts. So first I'm going to give you some context where pickup means to lift or to lift and collect things in your house. This helps when you are cleaning up around your house and you need to pick up the toys. So you tell your kids, like I tell my kids, pick up your toys and then they don't listen and there's a long argument. And then no one is happy. No one just, it's very hard. You know what I'm talking about parents. So pick up the toys. Um, another favorite of mine, pick up the stuff on the floor. Okay. All the, the stuff. I can't even see what it is because it's just plastic on top of papers and more plastic and dolls and things. 
and uh, pick up your jacket, right? So someone left the jacket on the floor. Hey, pick up your jacket. Pick up the papers on the table. So maybe you live with someone and they left a big mess on the table. Hey, could you pick up the papers on the table? And next we have pick up with the meaning of getting or acquiring something. So you can pick up something on the way home from work. You can get something or pick up something from the grocery store, uh, from a department store, uh, wherever you can buy something. So, hey, you heard me on the phone. I said, yeah, I can pick up some milk. I will get, I will pick up some milk from the grocery store or supermarket, uh, depending on which word you prefer there. Um, hey, can you pick up some double A batteries? We need double A batteries for the smoke detector, for example. All right, could you pick up a coffee for me? So if you are out and your partner is at home, your partner calls you, hey, I know you're coming home soon. Could you pick up a coffee for me, a cup of coffee for me? And uh, you can also ask someone to pick up the mail. So, oh, I forgot to pick up the mail yesterday. Or maybe you go on vacation, so you ask your neighbors or someone you know, in your family to pick up the mail while you are away. So to get the letters that come into your mailbox every day while you're away. Now, before we continue, I also want to stress, turn on, turn off, turn up, turn down, pick up, and the other five phrasal verbs you will see they are all separable. What this means is the object, like for example, the light, the volume, the stuff on the table, um, they can go in the middle of the phrasal verb or at the end of the phrasal verb. So it's possible to say, turn the light off or turn off the light or turn the volume up, turn up the volume. Okay, so you can put this, in the middle of the phrasal verb or at the end of it. So we got five more to go, guys. And after this, I think you're gonna be quite the domestic king or queen. Next, we have put away. So to put away stuff means to return something to the place it's supposed to be or to put it in the place it's supposed to be. So if your partner comes home with groceries and say, hey, I did the groceries, Pfft, here, can you put these away? So this means, you know, can you put the vegetables where the vegetables are supposed to go? The cans in the cabinets, can you put away the milk in the fridge, etc. cetera. So uh, put away the groceries, put them in their designated places. Put away the dishes. Hey, I washed the dishes. Can you put the dishes away? So the plates go in this cabinet the mugs and cups go in this cabinet, etc. cetera. Uh, put away the laundry, right? So I folded the laundry. Can you just put it away? Put it in the closet. Put the shirts where the shirts go and the underwear where the underwear go, wherever. Uh, could you put away the, the stuff on the table? There's a lot of random stuff. Can you put it in its designated place, all right? And could you put the toys away? Could you put away the toys? They are all over the floor. I can't live like this. I refuse to live like this. And uh, just put away the toys, kids. Just put them away. All kids, put them away. All right, put back. Uh, put back simply means to return. So the difference with put away and, re and put back, put away means put something in its designated place. Uh, put back means to return something to a place where you got it from. So it's a slight distinction. So, hey, can you put back the remote, uh, the remote control for the TV? You know, it's on the floor. Can you put it back beside the TV or on the table beside the couch? Something like that. Um, could you put back the milk? Uh, the milk is on the table. It needs to go in the fridge. Uh, could you put back the books? Could you put the books back? I noticed that, you know, hey, you, there are a bunch of books here. You were reading them. 
Now you're not reading them, can you put them back on the shelf? Next, uh, the salt or the salt shaker. So I don't need the salt anymore. I need to put back the salt shaker where it belongs, um, you know, on the table or somewhere else in the kitchen. And could you put back the DVDs? There are DVDs on the floor. Could you please, you know, put them back in the place they are supposed to be? Please return them where you got them from. All right, next we have take out and put out. Uh, so you can use both of these in the same way. Here we have take out the garbage, put out the garbage, the recycling, the compost, the cat, the dog. So to take out or put out something or, well, something or someone, depends how you feel about animals, if you think they're people, I guess. Uh, so you can take out the cat, take out the dog, put out the cat, put out the dog. Uh, this means to take something inside the house and put it outside the house. So usually you do this with garbage, recycling, compost. If you have pets and, you know, the dog needs to pee, hey, can you put the dog out or can you take the dog out for a walk? Uh, another one for dogs and cats, if they need to pee outside, you can say, can you let the dog out or can you let the cat out? All right, so you can take out garbage, take out animals, put out garbage, put out animals. And finally, we have throw away or throw out. Um, another word, to, you know, just a common verb for this is toss. Hey, can you just toss this away, toss it? All right, so throw away, throw out the garbage. Throw away or throw out, you know, this junk or throw this away, throw this away. It means to discard it. All right, don't keep it anymore. We don't need it. Throw it away, throw it out. Out of my house, away. So uh, could you throw this away? Could you throw that out? It's, it's old, throw it out. Um, could you throw out your old clothes? So if you have like old clothes and maybe they have rips and they're dirty from paint or something and you know, you, you need to throw that stuff away. Toss your old clothes, throw away your old clothes, throw out your old clothes or donate them. But I'm using it in another example with throw away or throw out. Um, donate is what you should probably do if your clothes are still in pretty good condition. Whew, that's a lot of talking from me. So I think it's time for you guys to do some work. If you want to test your understanding of all the phrasal verbs we've studied today, as always, you can check out the quiz on ingvid.com. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on that bell, and don't forget, you can also check me out on Facebook and on Twitter, uh, where I post pictures of stuff I'm doing, books I'm reading, I give you like English tips and stuff like that, and I try to keep in touch with uh, all the people who, you know, support Ingvid. And speaking of supporting Ingvid, uh, if you'd like to do that by, you know, donating to us with a financial contribution, uh, we very much welcome that. There's no pressure to do it, but if you appreciate and enjoy the lessons we provide here, uh, please consider donating. So thank you very much, everybody. And until next time, thanks for clicking.